A family in Universal City is carrying on the legacy of their daughter through a new business. Next on GMSA at 9, our Alicia Barrera will join us live to give us an inside look at Red Feather Healing. 915, a family at Universal City is carrying on a legacy of spiritual healing through a new business after their daughter passed away from her fight with breast cancer. Alicia Barrera visited Red Feather Healing to learn more on how the Dexter family has found a way to provide peace and comfort to those in need, all while helping other local small business owners. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. Well, Red Feather Healing actually began as a pop-up shop, and it was ran by Tabitha Dexter, who will meet, and her mother, Jerry. And Tabitha always dreamed of having a storefront where she could feature these local vendors to sell products that really helped her in her darkest times. And although Tabitha isn't able to see this reality now, her parents trust that it would probably make her really happy. The, the smell of right? sage, so she, beauty of an array of crystals, yeah, colorful yeah, feathers, yeah, and a variety of spiritual healing accessories and, uh, throughout the brick and mortar all yeah. highlight the essence of its late founder. It's in honor of our daughter, Tabitha, that passed away uh, in August of 2019 of breast cancer. Say hi, Grief. Tabitha. Oh, hi, Grief. An Air Force veteran and Norse shaman battled with breast cancer twice and found strength in the love of her parents and the wonders of Mother Nature. Why are you looking? at me crazy. When she was at the VA in the hospital, her room was just decked out with salt lamps and gemstones and essential oils and diffusers. But it's the feathers of birds that inspired Tabitha the most after her first visit to a bird rescue in Missouri during her recovery from the reconstruction surgery after her double mastectomy. And she would hold them on her hand and walk the farm with them. And that was um, part of her healing. <laughs> Sorry. It's only been a year and a half since Tabitha passed away peacefully. And in that time, her parents, who were also military veterans, worked to open the doors of Red Feather Healing in Universal City to carry on their daughter's legacy of helping others heal at a soul level. We want it to feel like home. There's always a possibility that you can't save them. But the one thing you can do is honor them. I think that's how people learn to, to find out about their own spirituality and, 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 and live better lives themselves because it's an inward focus now instead of an outward materialistic focus on everything else around them. And although times are uncertain for businesses, the Dexter family decided to go through with this business venture and open their doors just a couple of months ago, September of last year to be exact. And already they've had a lot of success, a lot of clients coming in and they feature some products like gemstone infused candles. Those were really neat to see. Also other heart centered services like chakra balancing and even aura photos. And all of this again is to continue and carry on that legacy of Tabitha of love and healing. Back to you.